Okay, hi, welcome to your Paxton tutorial on how to create a database. I really think it's important for you to make a database copy of your system because if something happens to your computer or happens to your database and it gets corrupted or it gets stolen or broken or anything like that, if you don't have a copy of your database, when you install the software from scratch, you will start from scratch. If you've got hundreds of users, you're going to have to reprogram every single fob, every single card. It's going to be a real nightmare. So make sure you get databases and make sure you keep them up to date. Okay, so to do this, you want to go to your Net2 configuration utility. The shortcut looks like this here. I normally keep a shortcut to it on the desktop. If you don't have it there, where it is normally is if you go to the Start menu, press All Programs, and then go to Net2 Access Control, and you can see it right there. And if you press it, that'll open it up. Just say yes to that. Your computer will ask you if you want to give permission to it. Enter your password, and that brings up the, the, the tool. So now you go to Database, and then you want to create a copy, okay? So you press Create Copy here. Do you want to continue? Yes. And then it shouldn't take very long. It's only a small database, this one, so it should only take a minute. And you just want to let that do its thing, and it will create a zip file. And with the zip file, just keep it as it is. Don't extract it or anything. Uh, Net2 just wants the full zip. It doesn't want you to extract it or anything like that. Always put a date stamp on the zip, because then you know which database is your most recent, most up-to-date. Once you've put a date on that, Save that wherever you're going to save it. Uh, I really suggest um, emailing it to yourself is a good idea because it's quite a small file. So you can send it to yourself as an attachment and then it's always there. It's on the internet for you. Or put it on a USB drive. But either way, you want to take this file off this machine now, off of this computer. Okay? And then if you install the software new on a brand new machine and you want to import your database, all you do is go back into your configuration utility enter your password, go to database, and then you would press import copy, yes to that, yes to that, find your database that we've just saved, no, it's not there at the minute, so what I'll do is here where it says files of type, just do all files, and then there you go, it's there now, okay, and then press open. And let that do its thing, and you're away. It'll just work. All right, let's make sure. Not taking very long, this one. If you've got a really big database, this might take quite a while. If you've got, you know, 10, 20, 30 doors, 200, 300, 1,000 people using the system, it will definitely take a lot longer than this. But uh, just let it do its thing. It knows what it's doing most of the time. And just uh, enjoy your cup of tea. This is the moment where you can have a tea break. As engineers, it's a good time to sit down in front of the computer. You can relax a little bit instead of running around up and down ladders and uh, looking at dodgy wiring. I don't know why this is taking so long now. This computer is quite an old computer, actually. You might find your computer on site a lot better than this one. Okay, anyway. That'll work anyway. So when that's done, here we go. That's done now. Okay, and then you press OK, and then you go into your Net2 software, and all your database and everything will be there, and you're up and running. All right, and that's it. Thanks a lot, guys.